Warning, I butcher a lot of card names in this video. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's me, Kokoran TCG, and today we have a sneak peek for the Token Rambu set. I thought it'd be pretty cool if we just open this up, see what's inside. I don't really plan to go too crazy in on Token Rambu. And of course we did have to get the mat because it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit for you guys. Just look how gorgeous that mat looks. So of course, just really excited to see new cards. Um, this pack here is our um, like pre-release, like overpowered, like special, all the fancy cards are in here. And of course we got five packs. We're gonna go ahead and crack those open. And of course, um, if you guys are building Token Rambu or you um, are familiar with the Token So let's go ahead and zoom in a bit because um, I kind of want to capture the art. Now, a lot of people have been giving this set, um, the backgrounds aren't really that detailed, but the beautiful um, husbandos is really all the talk, right? So we got uh, Sami Darego here, um, Isayo Samonji. I'm going to butcher these names, so I'm going to stop saying them, but I'll go a little bit slower so you guys have a little bit of time to kind of capture them yourself and we got a rare here and we got a triple rare this is the kawame um if kawame is good you might see a kawame deck profile who knows depends on how pricey token rambo is so kind of sort that out and we'll kind of look at the stuff again at the end of the video um let me go grab those scissors all right, guys, so we're back with the scissors. Um, these are, will now become a channel staple. I can't record a opening video without them. They're just too amazing. Pack number two of uh, six. So we got Sinto. Uh, we got a critical trigger. Kind of curious to see if we actually get the soul charge crits in this set. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Um, kind of would be a little whack if they gave us this support and we didn't get a soul charge crit. Uh, a rare for this set um, is Tadahiro. And we get another triple rare. This one is, is this the one from the box? No, it's a different one. And it's got a rear guard skill, kind of cool. Uh, I'll kind of zoom back in on that actually. So yeah, I do like the foiling on here. I'm a fan of it. All right, get into pack number three. Can I pull a SP? These off to the side and let's see what we get so we get the front again do we, do we have the unique fronts and crits please bushy don't 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 screw over the set please uh, oh little sneak preview there sorry about that move this over a little bit and realize i wasn't kind of centered on the camera uh this is our rare and then we got a double rate here and uh, Okurikara, and it's when it attacks, will not boost it if your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater. This unit gets plus 10k for the battle. If you have no face up cards in your damage zone, it also gets plus 15k instead, so it gets really big. Um, that plus 15 is really for perfect numbers, so this reminds me of like uh, V Alt Mile, how you want to just use all your CB and then you get effects for it, but that might just be one strategy. Don't know how good it is. But yeah, um, let me know how your guys, uh, if you did BRO for Weiss or uh, this weekend, or if you uh, did BRO for Standard, how did that go? Did you enjoy it? And how are you excited for set four? What sets are you excited for? There's a ton of product. So I think what's really nice about being a Vanguard player right now is there's so much to do. You have Vanguard Zero, especially on the JP side. Holy moly. So we have ourselves a a token rambu rare that's actually really nice this is a grade two and um its skill is when it attacks <laughs> while not boosted discard two cards from your hand choose one of your units uh with power greater than this unit and then this unit gets that power um interesting uh, that's cool i did not expect that to be in, like in the middle of the pack <laughs> let's go um Ikihara, and then got um, 
two rares out of that, that was a very weird pack. I uh, gotta love pre release things. Um, <laughs> let's put that to the side. And we'll kind of go back to it at the end of the video. Holy moly. I actually I actually pulled one. Couldn't get a lyrical rare. Uh, it hasn't, I haven't pulled a DSR from a box, but we did get a token Rambu rare. Is Bushy Road trying to tell me something? Okay, move these over. All right, this is the last of the normal packs, and then we got the fancy pack. Maybe we pull another dope card from there. Um, okay, I'm gonna move these off to the side. Uh, Matt moving everywhere because I haven't removed the plastic. I don't know if I want to actually do that yet. Um, let's see here. We got Matsuigo. Um, of course, I'm gonna put your all of these names. Uh, common. We got the front. This again, it looks like they don't have the special front. So, a little upsetting. Or maybe I just haven't hit it. We got a rare, and then we got a double rare, which is the Kogarasu Maru. Um, although I also butchered that, but very nice. And of course, the the nice pack. Now, of course, I, I forgot to get the promo when I was leaving the shop because they were closing up. But um, I'll show you guys the promo uh, after this pack, so get into it uh, last pack magic actually got a token rambu rare kind of crazy all right let's see what we get so he's over off screen and there is another token rambu rare this is the grade one this is the Shotan Nakiri. Uh, I don't want to spoil the rest. Uh, and this skill, like, look at how this art is. They even have, like, um, I believe this is kanji on the top uh, instead of, like, a number. Uh, like, it's still a number, but they put it in kanji, which I think is really unique. And it's when this is placed, Soul Blast 2, choose one of your other units and it gets plus 5k until the end of turn. And if you choose a certain key, uh, a certain card name, then you also get counter charge. Yo, two token Rambo rares. I know this is a pre-release kit, but hey, that's that's still really cool. We got Toku, and then we got um, Kagemitsu. It's a double rare. That's really cool. Um, right about here, we we'll, should show be showing the uh, promo. Okay, guys. So let's kind of go back through all of the juicy pulls we got today. So of course we got two token Rambu rares, not one, but two of them. So one's the grade one and the other's the grade two. Really excited about this. Uh, really makes me want to pick up the deck. Um, but I also don't know if these specific cards are used in any key strategies. I know there's certain combos that you want to go for with these um, uh, crossover sets, but very nice. I got two of them. I'm very happy with that. Some of the best pulls I've gotten in a while. From so few packs as well. We got some triple rares as well. We got the Kawame, which Seems to be like a main Vanguard piece, and then we also have the. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this name, so I'm just gonna say the first first part, the Juzu Maru, which is um, more of like a rear guard kind of supplementary kind of kit. And then of course we got a couple of double rares here. And again, what I like too is that someone who's not really looking to build token Rambu, but someone who's trying to be a, a appreciator of the set, is that like, although some of the pack ratios were a little weird, um, like that first token Rambu rare. Like, I definitely got to see a whole lot of cards, which it made me feel like I was actually pulling on a gotcha, which when I moved back in October, I had to stop playing gotchas because, well, I had bills to pay. So this was kind of a nice gotcha experience. Of course, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, but only if you liked at least one part of the video today. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, this is Kakor and TCG signing off.